So today I'm going to show a code that is uh, all about backend code. Uh, actually, I wrote for GitHub uh, repositories complexity finding. And uh, this is a four step process, the backend part. So I'm going to show it uh, like uh, show it in Google Colab. As, uh, as you can see that this is a four step process. First of all, we are going to find all the uh, repositories uh, that uh, uh, for a certain defined users of okay, you can give it a link. You can use an input also over here or I, I have provided directly the URL. So, uh, and then the second step, uh, we would uh, go through each and every repo and find out what is the con content inside. Uh, and uh, it might be in terms of size, size, number of contributors, dependencies, issues, pull request, documentations, and all those things. So, uh, and then the step three, we are going to evaluate uh, the complexity for each and every uh, like values uh, of uh, or each and every repos uh, we have. And then we would save, try to save this uh, like a complexity score in a uh, like a list. And finally, we will convert this list into string of values uh, or a string value uh, such that, and then we would pass this uh, like uh, into our GPT API and get back the uh, like a uh, token. So uh, starting with that, we have used, uh, uh, I have used this beautiful soap as, uh, as a library as well as uh, request, HTTP request, open AI. These are the libraries used over here. And uh, after that, uh, I just uh, kept my own repository tab, uh, as you can see over here. Uh, like uh, if I uh, this uh, go to this repository tab, uh, you, can, you can copy this, uh, uh, basically, the whatever the username along with the rep list of repositories we have over here so after that after we have a list of repositories we just uh, want to make some like a uh, https request and which would uh, use a get function uh, to get all the uh, like uh, information regarding that certain link so it will return some uh, like uh, some informations that will be stored in this certain variable known as here I have termed this an R. Then I have used beautiful uh, like a uh, soap method, a uh, BB method. So to find out what would be the like uh, uh, beautiful soap with the uh, this what is inside this R dot text. So R dot text will return some HTML content where we have. Uh, list of d classes all those things we will have so then after that we uh, try to uh, find out what are the list of repositories uh, like uh, finding these repositories if you, if you can if you if you uh, find this uh, uh, this elements you can see this is uh, divided into d classes and all so uh, as you can see, each and every thing is uh, divided into these things, as I think you can see over here. So I will try to find list of classes, div classes, and inside these div classes, I will try to find certain links. So this, uh, uh, like uh, to find a certain links with, with this a href tag. So as you can see over here, like uh, this span, what here, this is photo, this is body,
So I will try to So in this uh, like a uh, deep class, as you can see that uh, like uh, we can get through this deep class, we can find what is inside this deep class. And then we try to fetch uh, required uh, like a uh, like link to those repos. This would be the link. Uh, some link will be uh, like a uh, given over there as I cannot find it over here because it is too much hazy over here. Like this is actually main data container class. Then if I further open this, then as you can see, this is repositories. As you can see, inside this repository, we will if we go further and further, we we would get the link to those user repositories like action this, then uh, so you can see. So you can see that uh, from here actually we can we can find this ahref slash new. So new is the like if I want to make a new repository or something like that, or uh, like I want to uh, like. Uh, so we are going to find this ahref tag. So this would uh, actually help us to generate uh, uh, like a. List of uh, repositories, whatever the repositories available repositories in the URL that we have provided over there. So this uh, URL, uh, like, uh, has returned me like list of my repositories, whatever the repositories I have, and then uh, like, uh, and I have kept those URLs, uh, whatever the list uh, in a slash uh, new as you have seen that, like that slash. Uh, like my username slash whatever the repository name we have. So I have kept this in a list uh, by iterating through those uh, like a text values. And after that, uh, <clears throat> the step two and three actually, I have done what? I send that uh, that link, whatever the list of repositories with using a uh, like a loop. So each and every repo item I have sent uh, to this uh, get repo data. So this would generate uh, actually a JSON file and that JSON file will have all the contents, uh, like uh, all the informations of a repo, like what would be the size of the repo, what is the number of contributors, dependencies, issues, pull requests, documentation, all those things would be there. So after I receive this JSON file, I have sent this JSON file to this calculate complexity, uh, like uh, in this in the form of repo data that I have stored over here, as you can see. So, uh, so this calculate complexity function will cal calculate complexity after it uh, like uh, extracts the what is the size of this code, code base size, number of contributors, dependencies, number of issues, number of pull requests, documentation start all those things it have tried to like uh, find out as well as then we have got this uh, complexity score we calculate this complexity score uh, by multiplying this code base size times of 10 percent then uh, this contribution say for example which is 20 percent then 30 percent dependencies contribution 10 percent number of issues contribution then we have uh, number of pull request contribution is 10 percent and documentation is 20 percent and number of stars is say for example two percent uh, so 20 percent so after we compute complexity score for each of these values then we try to append this uh, 
complexity score in this user complexity. Along with that, I have kept uh, whatever the repo name we have and repo complexity. And we have converted since this returns uh, and integer value. So I have kept it as uh, like, a, I converted this into string value such that we can uh, like, uh, everything, is everything is in the same type. So message, I have uh, in the fourth step, to pass it on to the chat GPT. Uh, I did what I uh, wrote a message, find the highest uh, complexity among the given repos uh, of this, uh, of the complexity and this slash n is the new line. And then I tried to append those, uh, append these user complexities values uh, by iterating through a loop and each value of this with this message. And then uh, successfully after that, I I try to print message and then I get this. Uh, I, I imported this open AI uh, so that uh, I can get make use of this GPT. Uh, and then chat for chat GPT actually I need uh, like a open AI's uh, like this uh, token uh, or a API key. But this API key is only valid, uh, uh, like a, for like a for a limited number of tokens. But uh, uh, like uh, since I have exhausted on my uh, like a token uses, uh, like uh, uh, so I cannot this uh, make use of this OpenAI uh, like uh, ChatGPT's progress. Uh, so basically what i did is open ai dot chat completion dot create model i have used gpt minus uh, 3.5 dot minus turbo and message i have just embedded this string of message along with that and then uh, like i tried to get uh, like uh, the content from this like completion so uh, since completion would return uh, like a tons of information so uh, i tried to strip uh, the content based on the message, uh, right? So uh, the thing that I have not, uh, I have not, uh, this is running code only, but the thing is that I have not implemented the, uh, like uh, uh, this uh, GitHub pages or something like that, just because uh, like uh, this chat GPT open AI version is uh, limited to uh, like a uh, to is limited or use uh, like uh, for this limited uses uh, to all theory users so that's why i have uh, and uh, i didn't uh, make that rather i just wrote the code and tried tested on one or two times then it got exhausted so uh, as you can see this is the backend code and then i have uploaded the backend code to my github repository and that you can find over here. So, so this is what I have, uh, like, uh, uh, completely explained code. This would run with uh, anyone's uh, newly uh, new account with ChatGPT or something like that. Uh, I have exhausted two of my like uh, phone numbers and like uh, two email addresses i have used that also exhausted many times i many a times i used so anyways so uh, like uh, this is what uh, i made uh, today so i am i have uploaded it on the youtube you can check that